Artesia, Cerritos, Hawaiian Gardens, and Lakewood. The ABC Unite Show with your host, Jim Keating, bringing you good times from around the ABC Unified School District. Here is your host, Jim Keating. Woo! Final episode of the season. Five years, what do you think? I feel five years older, that's for sure. (laughs) You don't look any different. You look spectacular. Thanks. I uh, loofah every night. <laughs> Cucumbers on the eyes, the whole thing. Oh, of I course. thought it was the makeup department here on the Unite Show. Oh, sorry. Trade secrets. Trade, big time trade secrets. I have my own trailer and everything. <laughs> I'm Jim Keating. Over here is Alan Hallback, and we bring the Unite Show to you good folks uh, about once a month. All the great things that are going on in the ABC Unified School District and the uh, surrounding environs. It's true. What's going on that you're going to want to know about, that you're going to appreciate the talent, the people, the life. The love. And so we do. It works. There's a, there's a lot of good stuff out there. Shoot. And we bring it here. This, this show's a pretty musical show for us, wouldn't you say? It, this one's got some doozies in it. And a lot of variety, too, because we have, I think, two different soloists. Two soloists. Okay. Uh, and so you're going to look forward to seeing a couple students uh, bringing their solo talents uh, to the stage here. And... The Youth Rock Band, That's right. right. Jet Propulsion is Jet Propulsion, name? yep. Yeah. And uh, they're going to be here. They're uh, part of a, a program running out of a music store that uh, people in this area can get involved in. As far as our regular sit-down guests, we have uh, Betty Middle School here to talk about the uh, H1N1. You might know it as a swine flu. Hope you didn't catch it. But we've got that in a video that we've previewed on the show before talking about that whole experience in the magnet program that's uh, in the infancy stages over at Betty. We also have um, the representatives from the Migrant Ed program to talk about that and the uh, difference it's made in some students' lives. Tim Catlin from uh, Child Welfare and Attendance. And then uh, finally, of course, we had extended day program and, and some great teachers uh, from that kind of explaining what they do there and how uh, we offer extra services and great uh, quality educational opportunities for students outside of the regular school day. Despite the budget cuts we've been dealing with, this is a fantastic program. I think that's where you see really prioritizing in the district, you know. Mm-hmm. So like our limos cut. Our, yeah. I know. So, but, you know, we're okay with that. We're okay because... The indoor jacuzzi thing went away. Gone, I know. know. But we all have to make sacrifices. I know. We only have one private helicopter to share. I know. And that's... uh, We're going to be okay. (sighs) So, as you can see, we have about 14 hours of show ahead of us. So, I hope you've called in sick. Because it's like man, a, it's like the old uh, what are the telethon it's thing t- they used to do yes, with Jerry it's Lewis, <laughs> Chabad or whatever telethon. Are you going to sing what the world needs now is love, sweet love? Yes, yes, I think we'll do that. Okay, this, and I'll uh, spin around. No extra charge. It's for free. So stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> 